हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आप सभी का हमारे चैनल हाई पेस एजुकेशन में स्वागत है इस क्लास में हम देखेंगे क्लास टेंथ इंग्लिश में फर्स्ट फ्लैट का चैप्टर नेल्सन मंडेला अ लॉन्ग वॉक टू फ्रीडम स्टूडेंट्स इस क्लास के अंदर हम इस चैप्टर के एन सी क्वेश्चन आंसर्स और जो भी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन आंसर्स है वो देखेंगे और इस चैप्टर के हम ये भी पढ़ेंगे कि इंट्रोडक्शन थीम इसका मैसेज और टाइटल ये चार टॉपिक्स भी पढ़ेंगे जिससे जिसको पढ़कर आपका ये पूरा चैप्टर क्लियर हो जाएगा और आपको इस पूरे चैप्टर की एन रीडिंग नहीं करनी पड़ेगी इसके अंदर आपका पूरा चैप्टर की समरी आपकी क्लियर हो चुकी होगी चलिए इस वीडियो को स्टार्ट करते हैं हमारा चैप्टर नेल्सन मंडेला अ लॉन्ग वॉक टू फ्रीडम तो पहले स्टूडेंट्स इसको हम इंट्रोडक्शन से स्टार्ट करेंगे और हाँ स्टूडेंट्स हर पेज को रीड करने के बाद मैं उसे लैंडस्केप में करूँगा जिससे आप उस पेज का स्क्रीनशॉट भी ले सकते हो और बाद में आप इन सभी नोट्स का प्रिंटआउट भी निकलवा सकोगे अपने बात के रिविजन के लिए चलिए स्टार्ट करते हैं फर्स्ट इंट्रोडक्शन द चैप्टर इज़ एन एक्सट्रैक्ट फ्रॉम द ऑटोबायोग्राफी ऑफ नैल्सन मंडेला ही बिकेम द फर्स्ट नॉन वाइट प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ साउथ अफ्रीका इन नाइनटीन The chapter describes Mandela's views about freedom, his fight for freedom, and uh, and the help he received from the people of his nation. It also tells about the ceremonial installation of the first democratic government of South Africa. Next topic, as students, theme. This autobiographical piece focuses on the need and significance of freedom for a nation. A nation saved by foreigners, uh, slaved by foreigners, cannot feel proud and become self-dependent. People who are subjugated remain under the shadow of ignominy, uh, slavery. In the worst thing, they can undergo uh, undergo at any time. This was realized by Nelson Mandela when he became an adult. The desire to achieve freedom for his people uh, greatly inspired him to lead a struggle against the white colonialists. He had to suffer a lot as a result of it, but he did not give up his struggles. And fight resulted in the freedom of his people. At the long last, South Africa became free on 10th May 1994. Nineteen ninety four. Next is the message. The lesson gives a clear-cut message. Freedom for a nation is more important than every uh, than even bread and butter. We must fight against slavery in any form. Enslaved persons cannot live a life of dignity and self-respect. Uh, that is what Nelson Mandela wants us to realize. You can take the screenshot. He also cautions us against all kinds of prejudices. We should not hate even those who oppress us. The oppressors are the prisoners of hatred. We are to free them from hatred. We must remember the oppressed and the oppressors are robbed, uh, robbed of their humanity. यहाँ पर message complete होता है. Next topic है title. The lesson is an extract from Nelson Mandela's autobiography and the title "Long Walk to Freedom." The title is appropriate as it focuses on the day of freedom for South Africa. That is May tenth, nineteen ninety four, and traces the history of a uh, of a bitter struggle that at long last culminated into freedom. The focus, as is natural, is on Nelson Mandela and his long struggle for freedom. The day of freedom is described vividly, and the feelings of pride in the writer's mind come out clearly. The ceremony is connected with freedom, take him back to his youthful days when he joined the freedom struggle against the oppressing rulers. स्टूडेंट्स यहाँ पर हमारे जो चार टॉपिक है इंट्रोडक्शन थीम मैसेज और टाइटल है वो कंप्लीट होते हैं इनको आप अच्छे से रीड करोगे तो आपको पूरा चैप्टर समझ में आ जाएगा और फिर से आपको रीड करने की जरूरत नहीं पड़ेगी नेक्स्ट स्टूडेंट हम मूव करते हैं अपने क्वेश्चन आंसर्स पर सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन है वेर डिड द सेरेमनीज टेक्स प्लेस कैन यू नेम एनी पब्लिक बिल्डिंग्स इन इंडिया दैट आर मेड ऑफ सैंड स्टोन सो द आंसर इज द सेरेमनीज टुक प्लेस इन द सैंड स्टोन एम्फी फॉर्म्ड बाय द यूनियन बिल्डिंग्स Please take the screenshot, students. After pausing the video, in the amphitheater, in a amphitheater in Pretoria, uh, the Parliament House in New Delhi, the Rashtrapati Bhavan in New Delhi, uh, the Supreme Court of India in New Delhi, and Madras High Court in Chennai are some examples of Indian public buildings that are made of sandstone. Question number two: Can you say how 10th May is an autumn uh, autumn day in South Africa? So the answer is 10th May is an autumn day in South Africa because of this day there was the largest gathering of international leaders on South African soil for the installation of South Africa's first democratic and non-racial government. Question number three: At the beginning of his speech, Mandela has mentioned an extraordinary human disaster. What does he mean by this? What is the glorious uh, human achievement he speaks of at the end? So the answer is. The extraordinary human disaster that Mandela mentioned at the beginning of his speech refers to the inhuman practices of apartheid that is the racial discrimination suffered by the blacks at the hands of white in South Africa. At the end the glorious human achievement 
that he spoke of refers to the establishment of South Africa's first democratic non-racial government. Question number fourth: What does Mandela thank the international leaders for? So the answer is, Mandela felt privileged to be the host of the nation. Please take the screenshot. Nation of the world because not too long ago the South Africans were considered outlaws. He thus thanked all the international leaders for having come to witness his invent uh, um, his uh, investiture as president. Since this event could be considered as a common victory for justice, peace, and human dignity. Question number fifth: What ideals does he set out for the future of South Africa? Mandela had high hopes for the future of South Africa. He pledged to liberate all South Africans from the continuing bondage of poverty, deprivation, suffering, gender, and other discrimination. He also stressed that the beautiful land of South Africa would never ever experience racial discrimination again. Next question number six: What do the military generals do? What has their attitude changed, and why? The highest military general of the South African Defence Force and the police saluted Mandela and pledged their loyalty. Their attitude towards blacks had taken great change. Instead of arresting a black, they salute him. Next question number ninth. Why? Uh, question number seventh. Sorry. Why were two national anthems sung? So the answer is on the day of inauguration, two national anthems were sung, one by the blacks and the. Take the screenshot. One by the blacks and the other by the whites. This symbolized their equality of blacks and white. Question number eight: How does Mandela describe the systems of government in his country? First, in the first decade, and second, in the final decades. Final decades of the twentieth century. So the answer is the first uh, uh, first point answer is in the first decade of the twentieth century, the white Uh, skinned people of South Africa patched up their differences and erected a system of racial domination against the dark-skinned people of their own land, thus creating the basis of one of the harshest and most inhuman societies the world had ever known. The answer of the second point is: in the last decade of the 20th century, the previous systems had been overturned forever and replaced by one that recognized the rights and freedom of all people, regardless of the color of their skin. Question number ninth: What does courage mean to Mandela? So the answer is: For the Mandela, courage does not mean the absence of fear, but a victory over fear. According to him, brave men need not be fearless, but should be able to conquer fear. Question number tenth: Which does he think is natural to love or to hate? So the answer is: For Mandela, love comes more naturally to the human heart than hate. Please take the screenshot. Next question number eleven: What twin obligations does Mandela mention? So the answer is, Mandela mentions that every man has twin obligations. The first is to his family, parents, wife, and children. The second obligation is to his people, his community, and his country. Question number twelve: What did being free mean to Mandela as a boy and as a student? What does he uh, What does he contrast this transitory freedom with the basic and honourable freedoms? So the answer is, like any other kid, for Mandela also freedom meant a freedom to make mar- uh, marry and enjoy the blissful life. Once everybody becomes uh, an adult, then uh, adult, then antics of childhood uh, look like transitory because most of the childish activity is wasteful from an adult's perspective. Once you are adult, then someday you have to earn a livelihood to bring the bacon home. Then only you get an honourable existence in the family and in the society. Question number thirteen: Does Mandela think the oppressor is free? Why or why not? So the answer is Mandela does not feel that the oppressor is free because according to him, an oppressor is a prisoner of hatred who is locked behind the bars of prejudice and narrow-mindedness. He feels that both the oppressor and the oppressed are robbed of their humanity. Take the screenshot. Question number fourteen: Why did such a large number of international leaders attend the inauguration? What did it signify? The triumph of answer is the presence of large number of international leaders was a gesture of solidarity from international community to the idea of the end of apartheid. It signified the triumph of good ever over evil, the triumph of the idea of a tolerant society without any di- discrimination. Question number fifteen: 
What does Mandela mean when he say he is simply the sum of all African patriots who had gone before him? So the answer is, Mandela wants to pay his tribute to all the people who had sacrificed their lives for sake of freedom. He feels that he is the sum of all those African patriots who had gone before him because those heroes of yesterday years had paved the path of cooperation and unity for him. Therefore, he got the support of his people to be able to come to power to bring equality for his own people. Next, question number 16. Would you agree that depths of operation create height of character? How does Mandela illustrate this? Can you add your own examples to this argument? So the answer is yes. I agree that the depths of operation create heights of character. Nelson Mandela illustrates this by giving example of great heroes of South great heroes of South Africa who sacrificed their lives in the long freedom struggle. India is full of such examples. During our freedom struggle, there was a galaxy of leaders of great characters. Probably the operation of British rule created so many men of such characters. If we compare this with the quality of political leaders India is having today, then Nelson Mandela seems to be absolutely right. Question number 17. How did Mandela's understanding of freedom change with age and experience? So the answer is, with age, Nelson Mandela realized that he had a lot of responsibilities of his people, his community and his country. As a boy, Mandela did not have any, uh, did not have a hunger for freedom because he thought that he was born free. He believed that long as uh, he obeyed the father and abided by the customs of his tribe, he was free in every possible manner. He had certain needs as a young man. Gradually, he realized that he was selfish during his boyhood. He slowly understands that it is not just his freedom that is being curtailed, but the freedom of all blacks. It is after attaining the understanding that he develops a hunger for freedom of his people. Next, question number 18. How did Mandela's hunger for freedom change his life? Take the screenshot. So the answer is, Mandela realized in his youth that it was not just his freedom that was being curtailed, but the freedom of all the blacks. The hunger for his own freedom became the hunger for the freedom of his people. This desire of a non-racial society transformed him into a virtuous and self-sacrificing man. Thus, he joined the African National Congress and this changed him from a frightened young man into a bold man. Students, our English ka jo chapter is Nelson Mandela, Long Walk to Freedom, wo par end hota hai. Students, we have the previous chapters of English, we have uploaded them on our channel before. If you have not seen them, then you can see them. If you like this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Students, you will be able to see which topics you will be able to see in which chapters and which subjects you will be able to see in the video. Please tell us in the comments what your queries are. Next, question number 19. Thank you for watching. 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 Thank you for watching.